Hello, and welcome to the Open Grants Reviewers video collection. My name is Daniela Saderi, and I'm the pre-review co-founder and director. In this video, we will introduce the concept of bias and how it may show up in the context of the grant review process. This video is part of a collection of seven videos on the topic of addressing and mitigating bias in grant review. We invite you to check out the full collection at our website. So to understand bias in the grant review process, we need to start by its definition. So what is bias? The Oxford English Dictionary defines bias as a prejudice in favor or against one thing, person, group, compared with another, usually in a way considered to be unfair. This is a rather popular XKCD comic humorizing a type of bias referred to as selection or sample bias. The speaker is asking an audience of statisticians if they are familiar with selection bias to then conclude from the many hands raised that it's a term most people know. Truth is, there are many kinds of bias and they all have different definitions. They carry the last name of people who first defined them and we're certainly not here to define or unpack them all. But what we are here for is to give additional context to the language we'll be using throughout this video collection. So first, we think it's useful to reflect on the difference between explicit and implicit bias. Explicit bias, also known as conscious bias, occurs when individuals are aware of their biases and intentionally act upon them. Implicit bias, also known as unconscious bias, refers them to biases that exist without conscious awareness or control. So let's go over an example together. Let's say that during a group discussion at the workplace, a team leader consistently interrupts and dismisses ideas put forward by a more junior team leader. The impact of that action is that the junior team member feels devalued and unable to fully participate in the discussion. Why is the team leader doing this? The team leader may generally believe that they are providing constructive feedback and they're guiding the discussion. The behavior may be tied to an unconscious belief that more junior colleagues lack sufficient experience or knowledge that would allow them to meaningfully contribute to the discussion. In this case, we will talk about implicit bias because the team leader is not aware of holding this belief. But we can also imagine a scenario with the same action and the same impact, but driven by a different reason. The team leader may actually believe that because the team member is more junior, they lack sufficient experience or knowledge to contribute to the discussion. So in this example, the bias is explicit because the team leader is aware of thinking in that way. Why are we bringing this up? Why is it important? Ultimately, we agree that the impact of the action is what matters most and what should be addressed in this scenario. However, understanding the reason for an action can be important for us when we're working on ourselves to identify our personal biases and mitigate their impact. With this series of video, we want to guide you through a process that may question your explicit biases and surface the implicit ones so that we can be better equipped at mitigating their impact in the process of reviewing a grant proposal. It's important to underscore that our goal is not to eliminate biases, is not to make a judgment about who does have a bias and who does not, but rather to facilitate a self-reflection process that may help you bring new intention to the practice of grant review. The grant review process is not an entity that breathes and lives on its own, but it is made by and of people. People like you who may be recruited as a grant reviewer, or perhaps you are a grant program staff. Regardless of your exact roles in the grant review process, your beliefs, your biases come along with you in that experience. Bias can show up in many shapes and forms in the context of the grant review process and can lead to unfair outcomes such as favoring or disfavoring an applicant because of their reputation, their race, their ethnicity, their gender, or many other components. Even the topic of a research proposal could be the subject of unfair evaluation. By working on ourselves, we contribute to making this entity, the grant review process, an environment where all the applicants, regardless of their background or their characteristics, are given an opportunity to succeed. 
We invite you to explore other videos in this collection to find practical strategies for identifying and mitigating personal, interpersonal, and structural biases in the grant review process. Check out our webpage to access the full list of this video collection. This video was developed by the pre-review team for the Open and Equitable Model Funding Program in collaboration with the Open Research Funders Group and the Health Research Alliance. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to email us at community at pre Thank you so much for your attention and see you in the next video.